guys, it's Isabel, and today I have this very gorgeous metallic spring look. And I decided to do metallic just because I feel like people just use metallic in the fall or in the winter. But I think metallic is absolutely gorgeous for the spring or summer. It's definitely more of a fresh looking makeup. I didn't want it to look too cakey or like it's too much makeup. I mean, it's gorgeous for a night out, but also if you just want to wear it to more casual events. I think it looks absolutely gorgeous as well. So if you guys would like to see how I got this gorgeous, gorgeous look, then please keep on watching. Starting out with the eyes, I'm taking NYX's Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk and I'm putting this all over the eyelid. This is going to serve as our base and help make our shadow appear more pigmented. Now please excuse my eyebrow, I am currently letting them grow out so they're pretty crazy right now but it's nothing a little bit of eyebrow shaping can't fix. So here I'm just blending out the jumbo eye pencil with my ring finger and then going into my naked three palette and taking nooner on a fluffy brush and then just blending that into my crease like so just windshield wiper motions and this is going to allow our shimmery shadow to blend out nicely and really have something to blend into now taking the gorgeous Urban Decay Electric Palette and taking Revolt on a fairly large flat brush that I dampened and I'm packing this right on the immediate eyelid and kind of creating a very defined line between Nooner and the shimmer and this is going to give us a cut crease effect and make everything look nice and neat. And then going through with my Mica Beauty Cosmetics gel liner in black and I'm creating an outer wing and I'm not taking this eyeliner into my inner corners as I normally do. It's basically just a triangle on my outer corner. Now I'm sorry that this is out of focus and out of shot but I always do this when I'm doing my eyeliner so please excuse me for this. It's just a very simple cat shape, just really concentrating on the outer edge of the eye. Now I'm taking these 106 Blacks by Ardell and they're really natural and applying these. And as you guys can see here, I do have a black liner in my lower waterline, but I decided to take this off later in the video because I hated how it closed off my eyes. So then taking my Tarte Maracuja Creases Concealer in Tan and I'm packing this underneath my eye and basically covering up my dark circles and then any areas where I have any extra redness or discoloration and I'm just taking that with my ring finger and really going around the nose mostly just to make sure that everything looks nice and neat. And then going through with my Beauty Blender and just blending that out extra. Now taking my Hard Candy Glimouflage Concealer in Tan as well. Now I don't want a super highlighted look, I want this to look very natural so I'm going with this highlighter because it's not super bright. Now I'm just going underneath the eye in these triangle shapes and then going through and highlighting the bridge of my nose and then up onto the T-zone a little bit and cutting around the brows just to make them look neater since they are a little bit unruly. And then going through and blending this out with my Beauty Blender. And I'm also taking a micro beauty blender just around the brows and any little specific areas just to give me more control. Then taking my LA Girl Pro Conceal in Beautiful Bronze and I'm chiseling out my cheekbones with this. Basically my normal contour areas, my nose, my forehead, and just going through and blending this out with a beauty blender as always. And then taking a powder and just powdering over the areas that I concealed, so the T-zone, under the eyes, and around the chin area, and any areas where I took any concealer just to make it last longer. And then going through with my Model Co. bronzer and just chiseling out my cheekbones once again, and then taking some up onto the forehead to make my contour last longer. And then going through with this Nude Pencil by NYX, I believe it's Nude Suede Shoes. Now I did try another lip color on before this and I took it off, that's why my lips look kind of 
pink so I'm going through and blending that through and then taking this bourgeois color boost lip color I will list the information down below and then going into my Bella Pierre I believe this is my cheek and lip stain and it's in coral and I'm going through and just putting that on the apples of my cheeks for a more dewy finish and then finishing off the look with this gorgeous Ofra highlighter and taking a fan brush and just applying that right onto the highest points of my cheekbones And that's all there is to it. Alright guys, so this is the finished look. I hope you liked it. That is very gorgeous to do and I think that the sparkle, the shimmer on the eye just gives a very nice little pop to your makeup. I think it's really gorgeous to bring metallics into spring and it looks more like a metallic eye. If you see it in person, it looks more metallic than glittery or anything. If you guys did notice, I did get rid of the black in the lower waterline just because I really didn't like the effect that it left but I think that just like this is gorgeous it gives the focal point more to the top lid than having like a smoky bottom I thought it was a bit too much and I just wanted to look nice and fresh and kind of effortless glam I love effortlessly glam looks I don't like looks that look like you've been contouring and doing stuff like that I mean I can actually see my skin through this makeup which I think is absolutely gorgeous and I originally wanted to do a dark purple lip with this look but I thought it was just so pretty and just so kind of ethereal looking that I didn't really want to kill it with a black a dark lip if you guys like the look please be sure to leave me your comments down below your feedback please be sure to hit the thumbs up button as well and also subscribe if you're not subscribed already to see more videos from me I will be having a lot more soon thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you guys in my next video bye bye